So whether you're a guy on the larger side, you got some big muscular legs, or you're just built like a minotaur, finding a great fitting pair of pants that goes with your style can be an absolute nightmare when it seems like everything is made for a very generic body type. Well, never fear, I got you to cover five tips on how to dress with large legs as well as some shopping tips on how to find pants that actually fit and will work with your style starting right now tip number one is to start off with in-person shopping i know with online shopping it's super easy and convenient you get everything delivered right to your door but when it comes to pants if you don't get it right on your first try you're going to be stuck with returns and waiting for your refund all by yourself and you're left with no pants so that's even worse. This is a little bit more of a time commitment, but it's worth it because you can really see the difference in sizes from different brands. A large, a 34, a 36, a 38 in one brand is gonna fit differently than another, and a 34 in a slim fit is going to fit differently than a 34 in an athletic cut. And if you're not used to this and you don't have this little background knowledge, buying stuff online here is going to be a challenge. What I recommend you do, you just go into a couple different stores, try on a few pairs of pants. You may find something that works for you right then and there. Excellent. Even better, you may find a better deal on the same item from a different retailer online. So you can get the bang for your buck and you can get pants that actually fit you by just putting in a little bit more time. Number two is understand that your options for jeans can be quite limited if you're looking to get a perfect fit. We're not talking to you getting something super slim and skinny that's been the trend for the past couple of years where it just looks like you're wearing tights even if you have big legs or well-defined legs. It's not that good of a look. And if you have super baggy jeans, you might like that new streetwear look, but it may not work with your personal style or your frame. The best fitting jeans that I have personally found for guys who are on the larger side or have larger legs are the athletic fit, specifically, in my opinion, the Levi's 541 athletic fit. It gives you optimal room throughout the waist, the glutes, and the upper thigh, but they're not super baggy and they are slightly tailored throughout your lower thigh down towards the ankle. This gives you the freedom of mobility. You're not gonna feel super tight in the glutes it's not going to stretch and constrict you when you sit down and you're going to have the ability to pair it with both sneakers and boots. Yes, they are a little bit more expensive at over $100, but the quality is there and the fit is superb. Tip number three, we're getting a little bit more technical and looking at some of the fabrics used as well as some of the construction of specific pants. And I want you to look out for pants that either have an elastine blend into the fabric or they have a drawstring waistband. Drawstrings in the waistband are my absolute favorite. That's why I get a lot of my pants from Uniqlo because of their drawstring waistbands, even in their super dressier, formal dress pants, and even something a little bit more on the casual side. This gives you that freedom to micro adjust the fit at the waist. You can stretch it out a little bit longer. You can tie a knot there so it can stay secure. And if you have a great fit at the waist, you're gonna have a little bit of a better fit throughout your glutes and as well as the upper thigh. That's if it's made with a little bit more of a straight cut versus stuff on the slimmer side. When it comes to the flexible materials like elastine and spandex, they are for pants that are on the slimmer side. So if your frame is slimmer, yet you're muscular with really well-developed legs, this may be a better option for you because it'll be way better suited towards your frame because you may have you know a small waist, but you have a large thighs and large glutes. So having this blend here gives that extra stretchability. It is going to fit much more on the slimmer and on the skinny side, but if you are on if you have a smaller well-developed frame with large legs this is a great alternative to some of the more baggier straight cut option for guys who are more so on the huskier side tip number four is one of my absolute favorites and that is to turn to workwear options we've all known in the past few years that workwear has picked up in popularity amongst the fashion uh subcultures around the internet and i know people in the trades like to get really butthurt when they see somebody wear carhartt and they don't do carhartt shit but whatever we're talking about dressing and i like going with workwear options because pants tend to fit on the looser side they're, they're not tend to be super tailored and tapered but yet very structured and from a very high quality materials because they have to be durable so stuff like 
cargo pants i really like so something like if you go with dickies or carhartt it's a great option for guys on the larger side i know for me those are my uniform pants when i'm working at a clinic as well as stuff like carpenter pants you can get that mix of tactical wear slash workwear streetwear look and i think it's a very underrated option speaking of underrated options for stuff like this i definitely recommend you guys go to whatever local military surplus store you have and check out some of their options there for pants you can find great quality stuff for very reasonable prices as well as you can find workwear options and more military inspired well, actual military surplus stuff like tactical pants, navy trousers, and they are actually quite affordable. And this also is, I think, still a little bit slept on because a lot of people in the fashion space like just military surplus with stuff like field jackets and very affordable leather boots, which is also a great option. But definitely check out stuff like your tactical pants and navy trousers are actually pretty decent in my opinion. And tip number five, when all else fails and you need something right away, I highly recommend you guys dress up your sweatpants. Sweats have come a long way in the past few years and instead of being the classic track suits or or sweatsuits, you can just dress them up just a, a little bit by putting on a nice monochrome fit with some well-colored blocked sneakers like something here. These are just some eggshell sweats that i got from h and m yeezy 550 reps on a off-white uh three-quarter zip sweater and a, and a raincoat from uniqlo and this is a pretty good outfit it's super comfortable it's a little bit more dressy the colors work great and this is a great quick option that you can do if you want to feel a little bit more dressy but you don't have the time right now to go find pants and do a little bit of research this is a quick and simple solution that i saved for last so if you made it this far you got the best tip right now and there you guys have it those are five tips on how to dress when you got some big honking tree trunk legs whether you're on the larger side muscular side or built like a minotaur there's something on this list for all of you guys thank you all so much for watching be sure to check out some of my other videos on screen right now i hope you all have an amazing day peace